If you like Steve Carell, you should definitely watch our picks for his best movies. I didn't get to eat at the restaurant. And if you skip a meal, the next meal you overindulge. Oh, well, let me have got nails. It's a recipe for... You owe me three dollars. We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments, and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good movie again. Number 10. Dan in Real Life, 2007. What are you talking about? The salsa dance. This, this thing. If you could just not do that. <laughs> Dan in Real Life is a comedy drama film directed by Peter Hedges and stars Steve Carell, Alison Pill, Juliette Binoche, Diane West, and Dane Cook. Beautifully elevated by an astonishingly funny cast, Dan in real life finds a lonesome nerdy middle-aged guy falling deeply in love with a woman way out of his league. Things get weird when he finds out that she is actually engaged to his handsome brother. Now attempting a family gathering, the situation collapses when his feelings grow stronger and stronger. I'm gonna stop thinking about you. Good! I will. And if I start thinking about you, which may happen in a moment of, of weakness, weakness mm. I am going to focus all of my thoughts on your flaws. Number 9. Foxcatcher, 2014. I'm a little concerned that there are some psychological issues that we need to take care of. Foxcatcher is a biographical sports drama film directed by Bennett Miller and stars Steve Carell, Channing Tatum, and Mark Ruffalo. Twisted, cynical, and filled with a once-in-a-lifetime performance from its leading cast, Foxcatcher is a sports drama to seek its rivals. When wealthy but strict John DuPont invites young and ambitious wrestler Mark Schultz to build his team, he leads the boy onto a road of no return, causing him to break down if he can't make a last-minute turn. David. We have a lot of work to do in mm -hmm. the next couple of months. And you're an integral part of that. You understand? I understand. I'm going to need you. And uh, I will be relying on you. Number eight. The 40-Year-Old Virgin, 2005. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Yo, answer this question. Are you a virgin? <laughs> Are you a virgin? The 40-Year-Old Virgin is a sex comedy film directed by Judd Apatow and stars Steve Carell, Katherine Keener, Paul Rudd, Romani Malko, Seth Rogen, and Elizabeth Banks. Following the simple premise that its brilliant title already promises, The 40-Year-Old Virgin follows Andy, an amiable single guy working at a big box store. Unlucky with love and women in general, his friends push him into losing his virginity. But when he meets local shop owner Trish, he might get a chance to form a serious relationship with her. Oh! Mika, you should burn in hell! Okay, all right, no, seriously, I think I'm done. Ooh, I think we're done. I think that's good. Ooh, you know what, guys? This is not a good look for me! Number seven. Anchorman, The Legend of Ron Burgundy, 2004. Hey, where did you get those clothes? At the toilet store? Anchorman, The Legend of Ron Burgundy is a comedy film directed by Adam McKay and stars Will Ferrell, Christina Applegate, Paul Rudd, Steve Carell, and David Kochner. As one of Ferrell's most iconic roles and comedies, Anchorman explores the male-dominated business of 70s broadcasting TV. Enjoying his stardom of the network, newsman Ron is fighting growing jealousy when a female newcomer steals the show. Losing his job due to a critical commentary on her, he must find a way back to the top. Come get a taste. Rick, where'd you get a hand grenade? I don't know. Number six. Vice, 2018. Did Bob tell you that this internship is a great honor? Huh? Vice is a 2018 biographical comedy drama film written and directed by Adam McKay and stars Christian Bale, Amy Adams, Steve Carell, and Sam Rockwell. This movie follows Dick Cheney on his path to become the most powerful vice president in American history. It is a story of corruption, political intentions, and betrayal. When in the 2000s, George W. Bush tries to become president, Dick Cheney agrees to be his political mate. But after the September 11 attacks, Cheney has his own plans to shape the world. What do we believe? <laughs> what do we believe?
believe. Oh, that's very good. Number five. Beautiful Boy, 2018. I've been doing some research. You've been doing fucking research. You gotta no. be kidding me, okay. Dad. You think that you have this under control. Mm -hmm. And I understand how scared you are. Beautiful Boy is a 2018 biographical drama film directed by Felix Van Groningen and stars Steve Carell, Timothy Chalamet, Mara Tierney, and Amy Ryan. Led by a performance from Chalamet and Carell that is undeniably breathtaking, Beautiful Boy explores coming of age in dark and realistic tones. Teen Nicholas seems to have it all in his young life, but when his sudden meth addiction threatens to wreck him, his estranged father does everything in his power to take up this fight side by side with his son. It doesn't make me any different, all right? I'm attracted to craziness, and you're just embarrassed because I was like, you know, I was like this amazing thing, like your special creation or something, and you don't like who I am now. Yeah, who are you, Nick? This is me, Dad, here, this is who I am. Number four. The Way Way Back, 2013. Go to the blue square. Well, I don't think it matters. If it didn't matter, they wouldn't put it in the directions. We can fudge the rule. The Way Way Back is a coming-of-age comedy drama film written and directed by Nat Faxon and Jim Rash and stars Steve Carell, Tony Collette, Anna Sophia Robb, and Sam Rockwell. As one of the most gripping and honest family coming-of-age dramas of the decade, The Way Way Back finds an awkward loner spending summer vacation with his dysfunctional family. Attempting a lonesome job at a water park, he quickly finds guidance and a father figure in wisecracking park manager Owen, right when he needs him the most. No, wait, you have to do it. Duncan can move for me. No, honey, you're the one who wanted to play, so play your turn. Purple. Number three. Crazy Stupid Love, 2011. These are my 407s. Oh, they're 407s. Can I see them? Yeah. These offer a lot of support. Right. Whoa, come on! Crazy Stupid Love is a 2011 American romantic comedy film directed by Glenn Ficarra and Jean Requois, written by Dan Fogelman and starring Steve Carell, Julianne Moore, Ryan Gosling, Emma Stone, Kevin Bacon, and Marissa Tomei. It follows the story of a deeply tormented man at the beginning of a divorce. He ends up soul-searching and rediscovering why he was first attracted to his wife when they met. Meanwhile, his very handsome mentor, Ryan, an easy womanizer, falls passionately in love with a charming young woman. What? Hold on a second. Are you the billionaire owner of Apple computers? No. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, you got no right to wear New Balance sneakers ever. Come on. Mm -hmm. Number two. The Big Short, 2015. We have a fiduciary responsibility. No, no, we don't. Respons nobody's acting responsible. Fuck responsibility, are you kidding me? The Big Short is a 2015 biographical comedy drama film directed by Adam McKay and stars Christian Bale, Steve Carell, Ryan Gosling, and Brad Pitt. It is based on the true story of a handful of investors who bet against the U.S. mortgage market before the financial crisis of 2007 to 2008. The movie is noted for the unconventional techniques it employs to explain financial instruments. Among others, it features cameo appearances by Margot Robbie, Anthony Bourdain, Selena Gomez, and Richard Thaler, who break the fourth wall to explain different financial concepts. What about our clients who've entrusted us with their savings? I say when we sell. Money. This isn't about you. This isn't about you. Hey, up hey, side, hey, I so say when we sell. Before we unveil movie number one, here are a few honorable mentions. You almost had me fooled with that line about your high school girlfriend. I'm sorry, I don't... Don't be sorry, son. Just kill me quickly. What? That's not cheese. Max, be quiet. Okay, shall we? He must have been embarrassed. Me sitting out the last part of our war in the brig. No, sir. The thing that made Larry different from the rest of us in the unit, he had a happy childhood. He said that? Number one. Little Miss Sunshine, 2006. Subsequently, I was fired from my job and forced to move out of my apartment and move into a motel. 
When Olive Hoover learns that she's qualified for the Little Miss Sunshine contest, the entire dysfunctional family sets off in their camper van for the trip from Albuquerque to California. Little Miss Sunshine is a 2006 comedy road film and the directorial debut of the husband-wife team of Jonathan Dayton and Valerie Ferris and stars Abigail Breslin, Greg Kinnear, Paul Dano, Alan Arkin, Tony Collette, and Steve Carell in lead roles. The movie was awarded for Best Original Screenplay, and Alan Arkin received the award for Best Supporting Actor. The boy that I was in love with fell in love with another man, Larry Sugarman. Who's Larry Sugarman? Larry Sugarman is perhaps the second most highly regarded Proust scholar in the U.S. Who's number one? That would be me, Rich. Yeah. Mm. Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. If you want to know more about a particular movie in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.